Hi all, welcome to the penultimate session of entrepreneurial finance. Yeah, we are cl close to the end of the term, but excited for the next week. So today my paper uh, is on business reopening decisions and uh, demand forecast during COVID-19 pandemic uh, in USA. It's a paper, uh, it's a NBR's uh, working paper, National Bureau of Economic Research in 2020 with uh, good citations. 74 were the citations. The authors were uh, uh, Dylan Bala Elliott, Joby Cullen, Edward Glacier, Michael Luca, Christopher Stanton. I guess uh, Bala Elliott is a PhD student from uh, Department of Economics or, of uh, uh, U Chicago, University of Chicago, and the other three are from uh, Harvard University, Harvard Business School, except uh, Edward Glaser, who is from Department of Economics of Harvard University. The pandemic, uh, not just in US, across the world, it has led to uh, dramatic economic disruptions, including the government uh, imposed restrictions at the state level and central level that mandated uh, millions of uh, American businesses to close temporarily. The government's imposed restrictions or lockdowns, which includes regulations on what kind of businesses could operate based on the priorities like healthcare, food, and so on. This forced millions of businesses throughout the country uh, to temporarily shut down for various reasons. It could be the supply problems or demand problems or financial problems or health problem itself hitting the owner or the partners of the uh, business. Uh, this was uh, a big threat for any kind of economy, including uh, USA, and more specific to small business owners. So this paper uh, focuses on the uh, important inputs uh, to understand the uh, efficacies and need for regulation is understanding how small business owners responded to both pandemic related risks and to government imposed operating restrictions. So it's a twin edge sword we can say one way, uh, the, uh, the pandemic health hazard, people are losing their lives. And the other way, it is the government mandating that don't do your business, close down your business, you can do, but in these timings, in this area, in that industry, and so on. So that was so tough for a businessman. Uh, so this paper investigates businesses' decisions about reopening. Even when the government uh, declared, announced that uh, you can reopen. So this paper focuses on how many have actually reopened, how many immediately reopened, how many didn't re uh, reopen at all. And how many small business took much time, maybe a few months or a few weeks to reopen the business? This was studied uh, uh, in this paper. This paper provides a snapshot of uh, small business behavior and the expectations during unprecedented COVID-19 crisis. So that was never in your life. No one thought of uh, these things, but uh, this paper tried to you know, know the um, uh, personal intuition of the business uh, uh, business owners, small business owners through their behavior and what did they expect in terms of reopening or supply conditions or demand conditions and so on. Uh, this paper also presents the facts about business decisions to reopen at the end of the lockdown using a nationwide survey of thousands of small businesses. So the study is primarily based on the survey, not by the authors, it's already published. I believe I will share all those details. Then, uh, yeah, this is what I was talking about. The uh, major data source is Alignable Business Survey, uh, which is a, a, a data provider on surveys for small businesses. It has uh, small businesses owners information in North America. That includes uh, oh, Mexico, USA, and Canada. It has 5 million registered users when the paper was uh, working. Then the survey sends a link through email to all its members, which allows them to merge the individual responses of participants to data 
give the data from their user profiles so this data was uh, split into two phases one is a may 9th survey where the government announced that uh, they can open the business and one is after may 14th uh, where uh, the business was uh, either fully open or consumer returning consumers returning slowly by themselves <coughs> sorry so on uh, main and survey categorized into a fully open partially open temporary closed permanently closed so all put together there are 27000 plus respondents who completed all questions and uh, there were 35069 responses uh, for at least uh, one question that is a good response making this survey more reliable and qualitative so the study has uh, different variables i just uh, put them into a simple way a uh, dependent variable here is the probability of being operational by the end of 2020 means the small business what is the probability of a small business being operated by the end of 2020 then the independent variable is a health related variable and other variables also we have i'll show you in the tables then we have instrument variable which is uh, uh, future demand and intention to reopen it is well described i will share you that also so i was telling you about this iv uh, iv approach is used to estimate the uh, link between future demand and the intentions to reopen it was given in two stages the first stage is given like this di post minus di prior times gamma ti times di signal minus di prior plus lambda times di signal minus di uh, prior plus beta xi minus error term for the ith period so what represents what it's clearly given here the ti is an indicator that uh, evaluates to one if the respondent received the information treatment and xi is a vector of controls it has a set of control variables so gamma captures the bayesian learning parameter after lambda nets out spurious updating among the respondents who never receive a signal so respondent here means respondents in the survey who are mostly small business owners then in the second stage the exogenous component of the shift in the posterior belief distribution is used to identify the causal effect of changes in demand projections on reopening and plans on reopening plans i'm sorry so it is yi minus n times d post minus d prior plus beta xi plus error i where yi is the outcome of the interest and xi is the vector of uh, control variables it is an extension of the previous but little changes the health related variables primarily are level of covid-19 cases employee proximity age of the owner and age of the customer the major control variables are so similar businesses time of response industry and county so the study has the county level data or information uh, which is quite interesting so similar businesses uh, has open current opening status indicator for whether or not the business is essential and the future date to which the demand projections correspond so this is all about similar businesses health means one industry industry categorization kind of then time of response non parametrically adjust for time trends and the composition of respondents within the survey so the time of response is also uh, an important uh, uh, variable so that uh, the time trends could be adjusted in composition of the respondents uh, within the sample of 20000 plus uh, then industry 
it has physical proximity the nearness ease of doing business online it is compatible for uh, online or not is it uh, app based or web based or phone based there could be anything may happen and the share of customers over 65 that, that is senior citizens that also comes into picture here then county covid cases per capita population density republican vote share in 2016 election and the age of the owner maybe to know whether it he is a uh, he or she is a senior citizen or younger kind of so we have the data here so this is the summary statistics on data from survey and uh, additional sources panel a has uh, uh, data from uh, alignable survey which i showed you uh, in the previous slides and additional sources is listed here panel a presents summary statistics for survey responses uh, the first one is uh, month until uh, reopen or months until uh, reopen uh, the mean is uh, 1.33 and 25th percentile has uh, zero. 75th percentile has uh, a longer period of months to uh, months until reopen, which is uh, 1.75. So minimum and maximum is uh, zero to uh, 4.50, and number of observations are 29,305. So you can see that there are more responses for fully open in mainline survey partially open in the main and survey temporary closed in main and survey permanently closed in a main and survey there are 33356 responses then open in december responses are 17105 so that is too late to open uh, So then months until no restrictions mean is uh, 1.06 and a lag greater than equal to four weeks that is uh, uh, one month the lag is uh, 0 uh, 0.18 then share returning to uh, customers is 54.01 with a mean and uh, with 27,571 observations and uh, minimum is five and maximum is uh, 95 so means falls between uh, uh, 5 and 95 which is 54 mm, interestingly 25th percentile has 37.5 and 75th percentile has uh, uh, 82.5 that is fine and uh, i think there is no outlier problem in this uh, fully open on may 9 survey has 0.32 and partially open has 0.34 temporary closed has 0.32 Permanently closed in May 9 is 0 0.02. So that is good to know that uh, permanently closed number is uh, very low with a mean of uh, 0 0.02. And maximum is only one. Oh, that's good. Out of 33,356, uh, one is closed. That's it. That is so, uh, that is, uh, so good to know that. Fine. And similarly, in panel B, data from uh, additional sources. The likely, the likelihood customers over 65 and ease operating online are derived from uh, uh, MTER Kansas at the four digit uh, NAICS level. And here you can see Covid cases per thousands were 4.5 out of. Uh, oh, this is a, a did analysis difference in differences analysis on reopening and projected uh, customers returning to the business to buy their own things. So lifting regulations uh, in Florida and Wisconsin resulted in uh, owners reopening more quickly compared to. Uh, comparable firms in other states in USA. So, did estimates of the uh, effect of uh, unexpected changes in the regulatory environment on the share of business that are currently open and on demand projections in the future are given here. So, 
uh, you can see in the first column, it is divided into uh, 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 two segments, business fully open and uh, customers uh, returning. And uh, here you can see that in the first one, did presents results with uh, Wisconsin and Florida pooled together to form the treatment group that is in the first column, which is 14.79 and it, it is very significant. And the second column estimates the results separately for Wisconsin and Florida to avoid biasing these uh, did estimates towards zero. Florida is excluded from the regression uh, in the second one and Wisconsin is, Wisconsin is, is uh, excluded from the column three. So here there is no Wisconsin and here there is no Florida. That is a business fully, fully open. Similar in the customer returning also, it is uh, uh, for example 6.756 which is very significant is for both Florida and uh, Wisconsin. And uh, the second column is uh, without Florida, third column is uh, without uh, uh, Wisconsin. So uh, that's how it is given here. So the total number of observations are 24,248 and it, it varied uh, for all these uh, three combinations. So uh, both, include, when you include both Wisconsin and Florida, it is 24,248 for both customers returning and uh, business uh, 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 fully open. Um, analogous estimates of the effect of the regulatory change on demand projections in column four to six, there's a customers returning is uh, presented. The main survey data, which is collected from May 9 to May 13th, with data from a later survey collected from May 14th to June 1st. Since the policy changes were announced on May 13th uh, uh, in Wisconsin and 14th in Florida, the main survey is uh, pre-period and the follow-up survey is the post-period which is supplemented. We, uh, uh, the post-period to match the pre-period is uh, re-weighted at the four-digit NAICS uh, by county level. The cells that do not include at least one observation, both surveys are dropped. So to note that uh, the second survey remained open until the following survey was distributed over 95% of responses were collected by May 18th. Since the first survey was distributed uh, starting on May 9th, the majority of the responses were collected over nine days earlier uh, in May. So uh, the equations in the paper, uh, uh, will explain more on that they cannot they couldn't be embedded here for some reasons so that is a did analysis then mm, <laughs> So the next table is all about the factors contributing to differences in operational status. So the four columns uh, correspond to answers to the question, are you currently open? These options are collectively exhaustive and mutually exclusive. Employee physical proximity, customer over 65, and ease of operating online are converted to Z scores. So the standard errors are clustered at the county level with the uh, respective probabilities less than 0.1, less than 0 0.05, less than 0 0.01 to know the significance uh, levels. So I think uh, physical proximity is negatively uh, uh, correlated. Partially open is also negatively correlated. Temporary closed and permanent closed are positively related with the significance, with the 0.001 level of significance. 
when owner age is positively though it is low it is uh, related to fully open and it is negative to partially open and temporarily closed when customers over age of 65 is negative to fully open temporarily closed and permanently closed but positive to partially open then essential business is uh, positive and significant then ease of operating online is negative to fully open maybe when it is fully open why should i go online so permanently closed it is positive temporary closed is also positive so for open it is negative for closed it is positive so covid cases per capita it is uh, minus uh, zero min, uh, minus point zero three one seven with uh, level of high level of significance but uh, negative to permanently closed and uh, fully open then uh, population density has a positive only for fully open and rest of them it is uh, negative then gop vote share at the county level it is uh, positive uh, to the fully open and for the rest it is uh, a negative this table presents the oils regression showing the contribution of various factors to the small business reopen decisions so it has eight factors here eight uh, uh, outcomes um, eight dependent variables or you can take it uh, the other way also uh, reopen restrictions lag lag greater than or equal to four weeks close to one month then reopen restrictions excluding fully then a lag open business then lag greater than four week so to start with the first one uh, reopen is the expected months to reopen uh, which is uh, 0 0.0813 with covid cases uh, per cap and it is negative to owner age customers over 65 uh, covid cases per capita essential business and population density it is negative and uh, similarly you can see the uh, rest of the significances uh, restriction is the estimated months until restrictions are lifted and lag takes the same outcome as uh, reopen but adds a fixed effect for restriction lag greater than or equal to four week is a indicator variable that uh, evaluates to one if the firm's estimated reopening uh, date is at uh, at least uh, uh, one month or four weeks after the estimated date of restrictions are lifted uh, businesses that were permanently closed at the time of the survey are excluded from these regressions businesses that were fully open at the time of the survey are excluded uh, from the column 5 6 7 and 8 employee physical proximity customer over 65 and ease of operating online are converted to z scores standard errors in the parenthesis and rest of these things are known level of significance and so on so it is self explanatory then comes the contribution of various factors to projected uh, uh, projected log normal distributions uh, share of returning uh, customers uh, the outcome in all the columns i mean that both the columns uh, is the logarithm of projected demand measured as the answer to the question if you are fully open by randomized date what share of your customers do you expect at the time compared to before the crisis please provide best guess employee physical proximity customers over 65 and ease operating online are converted to z scores so months until uh, no restrictions all businesses had negative 0.1739 and when you exclude fully open businesses 
it is a, uh, I mean partially open business if you consider them, then it is minus uh, a negative 0.1296. That is less there. All businesses it is more. So partially open and op partially open businesses it is less relative to all business. Then uh, log COVID cases per cap is again uh, negative, but more negative compared to excluding fully open business. Then employee physical proximity is negative. Owner age is positive in the case, though it's very low and both are significant, insignificant. We can ignore that. We can ignore for that, sure. Then customer over age, they are positive. 0 0.068 here and 0 0.0530 in case of partially open business. Then essential businesses, it is again positive. Then ease operating online are, are negative. Then factors contributing to probability of being open in December 2020. I think it is the longest. So you have three columns here. The outcome in all columns is the answer to the question. What is the likelihood of your business remaining operational by December 31st, 2020? Please provide your best guess. Business that were permanently closed at the time of the survey are excluded from these regressions. Employee physical proximity, customers over 65, custom and ease operating online are converted to Z scores. So you can see months until uh, months until no restrictions is uh, negative in. Uh, in the first and third case then in the case of uh, i think there's nothing inter much important here mm, all show the same results there are no deviations in this okay then uh, this table uh, shows us instrumenting expected uh, customer demand through information treatment it has uh, two panels, panel A and panel B. Panel A, A shows uh, two sum of uh, least squares regression. And panel B shows first stage and a reduced form of uh, regression. It has two levels. So in panel A, uh, the dependent variable uh, in the first two column, uh, co uh, column reopen, uh, is expected months to reopen number of months okay the dependent variables variable in column 3 and 4 which is lag is the same outcome that is months until reopening but includes a fixed effect for the uh, date restrictions are lifted in columns 5 and 6 where lag is greater than 4 equal to 4 week it is an indicator variable that evaluates to one if the firm's estimated reopening date is at least one month or four weeks after the estimated date restrictions are lifted in column seven and eight the dependent variable open december is the self-reported probability of being operational by december 31st 2020 controls across all regressions include the prior and gap between the signal and the prior uh, log units. Date fix reflects the current status of business uh, and the essential. Uh, these are the essential uh, uh, classification. So in panel B, the dependent variable, the, the first column is log expected demand. The response to you, the uh, question. If you're fully open by randomized date, what share of your customers do you expect at the time compared to before the crisis? Please provide, it, provide your best guess. The instrument for expected in, uh, demand is an information instrument shown to
is shown to a random subset of uh, uh, participants before uh, uh, elicit demand uh, is expected the message received is uh, before continuing we want to share some interesting information based on your profile location and concerns our polls show that some people anticipate percent of customers will return by future date then uh, from the main oil specifications uh, in the previous table the namely natural log logarithm physical proximity owner age likelihood of having customers over 65 ease of conducting business online the natural logarithm of population density and the county level share of the vote that went to the republican candidate in the 2016 presidential election so there are some additional controls uh, for some of the uh, variables mentioned uh, for example uh, for reopen yes it is there for lag effect it is there for lag greater than 4 week it is there so that's the difference between 1 and 2 3 and 4 5 and 6 7 and 8 that's how we can differentiate then a restriction uh, restriction on fixed effects again uh, uh, for the first and two there is no no restriction then third and fourth it is there fifth and sixth it is there seventh and eighth it is not there finally we arrived at the findings after the after discussing all the analysis models uh, uh, summary statistics regressions uh, two sls reduced form of regression and so on the findings say that firms gradually reopen but some places reopen faster than others so there is a diversity in the uh, the speed of reopening the small businesses lifting regulations in florida and wisconsin resulted in uh, owners reopening more quickly compared to comparable firms in other states could be because of the judgment which was given to reopen and so on although restrictions were an important determinant of the reopening decision many businesses expected to delay reopening when the restrictions are lifted this is interesting though there were no restrictions date was given to reopen unlike uh, the small businesses in florida and wisconsin uh, many businesses in different states they delayed the reopening though uh, uh, restrictions were completely lifted the average business expected to be closed two weeks longer than the restricted restrictions lasted although some businesses expect to be closed from months after they are legally allowed to reopen so the average period was two weeks longer and some took more time but ultimately they couldn't they closed a 10% decline in expected demand results in a 1.5% uh, percentage point that is 8% uh, increase in the likelihood that firms are expected to remain closed for at least one month after being legally able to open then drop in demand was expected to be the most severe in educational services food and accommodation and arts and entertainment and recreation so these are the areas where the drop in demand was uh, uh, more compared to other uh, industries or sectors of small business then continuing with the findings Uh, uh, the delay in reopening did not appear to be related to health concerns at least for the small businesses in the survey this is quite interesting health concerns means health of the owners health of the customers i think there are some other reasons uh, the survey says the lag between the predicted end of restrictions on operations and the predicted time for reopening is not correlated with any of our measures any of the measures of health risk so health risk is one area but there are other parameters which delayed the opening 
neither old customers older customers nor an older owner predicted a longer de delay after the end of the restrictions so age or the senior citizen as a factor is not a, a question or a problem here uh, while COVID case uh, uh, prevalence pr predicted the presence of uh, restrictions on operations into the future, COVID cases per capita did not predict delays in opening after restrictions on operations were lifted. So prediction versus restrictions, I think they little uh, they are little. Finally, to conclude. All findings put together, they suggest that small businesses reopenings are driven more by their economic needs to survive than by their worries about their public health. This is uh, uh, quite important uh, of a finding in the study. Uh, the results underscore the importance of demand projections and interdependencies among businesses for owners uh, reopening decision. So the underscore of the importance of demand projection, uh, I think this is uh, vital because demand projections had health concerns and uh, uh, date of announcement of uh, 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 removing or lifting the restriction is more considered than the economic needs or economic effects of the small businesses in terms of business owners, importantly. That the businesses expected that the level of uh, demand for their services would be greatly depressed for many months. That's their expectation. Likely justifying some of the government's uh, aid to businesses that would allow them to whether lower projected demand while health risk to uh, consumers linger. I think this is quite uh, interesting. Uh, the COVID lockdown restrictions restrictions lifted uh, this is a, a wonderful paper to know about it i wish this will be a, a a strong foundation in future for small businesses to face any kind of challenges while forecasting the demand and taking proper actions to reopen or delay the reopen So finally, thank you for your uh, uh, attention and I appreciate if uh, you can give me some feedback or post your questions to my email. Uh, I, I, I'll be more than glad to respond to that. Thank you. I'll see you in the next week.